All right, you got the picture? Good. Everybody get back to work. What's good, Two Shoes? Y'all, I want to let y'all know about Two Buddy. We've been partnering with them. There's a link right below this video that you should definitely click on. It's 30% off. Trust me, you want to install that for the growth of your YouTube, whether it's subscribers, watch time hours, tags, all types of stuff. They have all types of stuff. Can't get into all of it because this, this will go forever. Trust me, hit that link, 30% off. You won't regret it. Install, plaque out, the YouTube growth goes boom. Just like that. All right, so we got to start with something a little bit more serious. Uh, Bill Cosby, he's out. He's out. He's out of jail. How does that make you guys feel? Yeah. Why was he in jail again? He shouldn't have been raping women. That's, that's want... the thing, though. He he was proven guilty mm -hmm. of it. So tell tell him tell him there. Or do you want me to play right, the so, video? I just want so, to know. I forget. I forget so why. Basically, he after all, everything that went on, like it was uh, back in the day, I guess. Yeah, he gave girls pills and then eventually had sex with them, right? Mm. And um, all these years later, you know, they claimed it was. Uh, I don't know if I can use. Can we use that word? What? Right? It was not. No, consensual. don't say. Don't say. That. Yeah, it, it was not. It was. It don't wasn't consensual. Yeah. That's what they're saying. It wasn't yeah. consensual. And uh, so, so all these years later, they said that. But in 2005, I guess it was part of a, um, what was it, a civil case? A civil case that he just, uh, he was good if he admitted, like he admitted to it, but he was under the pre under the press, un under the yeah, yeah, that he wouldn't be brought up on criminal charges later on it. So, uh, yeah. So he just said Yeah, so he here. said basically he get but he never admitted everything. What he said was exact well, he said that it did you give them drugs? I mean, yeah, they asked for they asked for drugs. Oh, yeah, I gave it to him, right? So, and then it was like uh did you have sex with him? I mean, yeah. I mean, but was it consensual? He, he, or they, the question was like, uh, do you think they were under the right uh, mindset? Yeah, to, right to mindset. approve of it. Uh, and he was like, I don't know. And in the and truest answer, he said, I don't know. So that was in 2005, under the president uh, that it would that he wouldn't be have criminal charges later. So now, like in 2000, what 16, 17, this all happens. Uh, comes back up and he ends up going to jail and which is when you hear like the judge talk about it I'll, I'll listen to judge joe brown talk about it and it made perfect sense he was like um he all the judges that he spoke to was like yeah it doesn't surprise me he shouldn't have went to jail in the first place it was more so pressure of the uh to the judge and the prosecutor that did it he's like they should honestly be this far it makes sense it makes sense yeah. So he got out on what good behavior? What? What was? He was it was just overturned. It was overturned. COVID? It was just overturned. Like it went to another oh, judge, pretty much. So he yeah. had an appeal. It just went to another and judge, he and he's like, "No, nah, like you shouldn't be." Well, I'm 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 happy for Bill Cosby. Then I grew up with this motherfucker. I'm real happy. Me personally, me too. Did 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 these did these, did these females? But he did rape those girls. Were whoa, whoa, allegedly whoa. assaulted by him. So what? Are the females who he allegedly did these things with, were they compensated? Were they given something? Um, no. He served no, like no. two years. Well, now I'm not I'm not saying he did or didn't do this, but you yep. know, everybody's been to college, right? Everybody's been with a chick, she'd be like, Yo, let's smoke or let's do a line or you know, let's, yeah, you, you do Molly, yeah. but let's kick it. So, you know, so now at what point, if if you're doing these things together and that's consensual, at what point does it become not consensual is what I guess my question is. And is that what happened to him? That that line is just unobtainable? So someone had to be put in jail for it? Because, I mean, if XYZ person is doing drug and I'm giving them these drugs... I have these drugs, so I'm probably doing these drugs with them, right? So am I even in the right mind to be doing these things? 
are they in the right mind? Like, what, then, what, where is that line? Say, she said, now, who do you believe on drugs? Both of y'all are on drugs. That's, you see what I'm saying? Like, then, it, like, you see what I'm saying? Just after the fact. You're talking about boring. I'm talking about after the fact. Like, I don't understand. It's, mm, I don't know. I think, uh, wait, hold on. I don't understand. Why, why they got this dance here? This dance is the only thing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, we. Yo, if I ever go to jail and I get out, I'm doing that shit. I'm doing the pudding pop dance. <laughs> That's when you got the last pudding pop out the freezer and you going back right. to the bedroom. That oh, man. I hope he gets out and he still buys a CNBC or whatever he was about to buy. I forgot what it is. I don't know if it was no, they're not gonna for sure. Them. No, it's still possible. Business don't stop. Business don't like really stop. It could stop, but if you actually, you know, come out like, you might. Bill Cosby got bread like that to buy a national broadcasting station. He was no. about to do it before. He got the clearance to buy it uh, right before he went uh, before these allegations came up. That's that's what I'm and saying. He as got soon as they came like up, that to that's buy crazy. Bread like that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm happy my man's is getting out. Hopefully he do some nice things while he out. Not, you know, whatever he yeah. was going to jail for. Yeah. But, like, I feel like that his legacy is more good than it was bad. But in this day mm-hmm. of cancel culture, I don't know exactly He's how good. it's going to play out, to be honest with you. So to answer your original question, yeah. Rob, I'm happy that he's out. He's good. The only thing You're he happy. still against him. I mean, I don't. From what from what we just talked about, I personally don't understand Should why be. he was put in jail. I feel like it was more of a you know night of passion than it was an assault. So I don't. I personally don't see it. But I wasn't there, and I'm not one to you know victim shame. So I don't know. But I like him, and I don't think he would have. Been that evil or that bad exactly. intended? I feel so. the exact same way. Pretty much, I feel the exact same way. Now, if this was Michael Jordan in the situation, y'all told me Michael Jordan did this shit, I'd be like, throw the key away. That motherfucker did it. I Wait, know. What? He did. Hold on. Wait, what? Slow down. What? You said Michael Jordan. If it was Michael Jordan, I don't like Michael Jordan. I met Michael Jordan in real life. Wait, hold dick. No, so out, if somebody out, came and told out, me bro. that Michael time, Jordan time did this, out, hold yeah. on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> if somebody told me, if somebody told me Michael know. Jordan did this, I would have been like, well, I got to stay in jail. He was evil. He ain't signed my Jordan. Start this whole story. Old. Hold on, bro. You never oh, told. Like, you bro. never told anybody that right. you met Michael Jordan we, before. We didn't even really meet Michael Jordan all like that. We were. We were in D.C. Well, Baltimore, actually. We was in Baltimore. My brother's, uh, like, mentor person used to do private security and she used to drive limos and whatnot, and she happened to get Michael Jordan this night, you know, in D.C. type deal. And we was with her. It was one of those, you know, call me right now, I'm going to pull up type deals. She's like, I got to go get Michael Jordan. I was like, no way. The Michael Jordan? She's like, yeah. Oh, man, I had me some retros. I think there was some eights. I grabbed them bad boys. I was like, he going to sign these. We get to where we going. You know, Mike Jordan come out the airport, wherever he is. He's sitting right next to us. I was like, hey, Michael Jordan, man, can you sign these for me? He was like, I don't got the time. Mm. Just walks away. Just walks away. Granted, I understand as an adult, if he had signed them shoes for me as a child, I could have turned around and sold them for $100,000 or whatever. I understand it. But I was still hurt. Lil L.A. was hurt. Fuck Michael Jordan. Fuck him. Unless he's watching, he's gonna send you some signed shoes now. <laughs> he better send me some signed shoes. I want, I want the the fours that just came out on Friday. The bots beat me, so I couldn't get those. If you watching Michael Jordan, you can make it up to to vacation <laughs> LA. 
<laughs> if you get me the I'm fooling, man. I'm fooling, man. That's, that's crazy. That's a crazy story. That is a crazy story. And this when you said when you were eleven. Oh well, how old was I? We was in Baltimore when I was what, like. It was eleven or to thirteen. That, that could have been when he days. was with the Wizards. That's crazy. Somewhere in that area. That's crazy. <laughs> At that point, and the crazy thing is, that was my little brother's favorite player, Michael Jordan. And since that moment, he was like, Winston was like, yeah. Michael Jordan. I was like, mm. that motherfucker. Now respect Michael it. Jordan. Now respect <laughs> it. Nah. I was just hurt. I hold a grudge. That's all. Michael Jordan. Yeah, when you a kid, you a kid. You don't know no different. And that's just something that it just stays in your psyche. Man, it's something I... that you can't change, bro, because you see the person everywhere. You just something that. Just... My little brother used to watch Space Jam. I'd be like, cut this shit off, man. This is why you look. Like, this is why he's so geeked off. for this next one, bro. This is why you're so geeked I for this one. I can't wait bro, for man. LeBron to come oh, out. Man. www.inspiredbyambition.com That's www.inspiredbyambition.com